Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Epic Street. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Binance Coin and see what's up with it. And if you can expect some sort of recovery, relief, or that kind of stuff. All right, before I actually get into what happened last time, what you can expect going forward, uh, please make sure to head on over to our YouTube channel and the subscribe button. And if you enjoy the content that we put out and want to stay updated on the hardest trends in the cryptocurrency market, please make sure to click on this bell icon. Uh, that said, uh, you can also give us a follow on Twitter at FXS Crypto. And if you enjoy the content that I put out on my Twitter, uh, give me a follow at Mangeko with the zero at the end. Right, so back to BNB. Well, the last time we discussed this, I kind of mentioned how this particular crash that we saw here, I think coin was somewhere around here at 260. And I kind of mentioned how the liquidity resting below these lows over here, here, and here. Uh, roughly 322 was collected when price moved below that on 9th May. Right. And since then, what's, what's price done is swept below the May and June, June, May, June and July lows at 260, the liquidity resting below that. And on top of that, it also swept below the 216 uh, swing high formed on 25th March of 2021. So, so far, the liquidity collection has been pretty impressive, uh, to say the least. But there, okay, for now, I think you can expect the price to form some sort of a range, like I mentioned here on the lower time frame. But there are still important levels to the downside. As you can see here, two, two fair value gaps are extending from 140 to 180 and 174 to 107. All right, these are important levels, and I believe these are going to be filled in the next before the next bull run actually begins, right? Before uh, Bitcoin heads to 70k, I feel like there's going to be a downtrend to 19k, 18k, in which case I'm expecting uh, BNB to fill both of these levels down here. So for now, I think the upside is kind of capped at roughly 310 and 332 if we're kind of looking at it from a conservative lens. But if you're bullish, you can expect the price to head up to 350 dollars, which I think is highly unlikely. But as for the downside, I think it should be capped at 260, but a breakdown of that level could uh, lead to a consolidation between 260 and 216. So if you enjoy this analysis, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.